Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video and that way you don't miss out on any of my videos. As the title of the video suggests, today I'm going to be sharing with you the 9 must-have MAC lipsticks and without them, trust me on this when I say this, your wardrobe, your lipstick wardrobe is incomplete. So these are the 9 must-have MAC lipsticks and you won't regret watching this video because it might be a possibility that you might not know that this kind of lipstick existed and you really want it so you're going to come and thank me later but i'm telling you if you're a lipstick lover just like i am you should definitely watch this video till the end and yes do let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite mac lipstick so that even i can go and check that out also i'm going to be swatching all of these lipsticks on my lips so that uh, you guys can have a fairer idea of how it's going to look on your face or on your skin tone so personally i feel among all the cosmetics that mac produces i think it's best at its lipsticks and also the way these lipsticks smell oh my god the vanilla smell i just feel like eating them yeah but obviously i don't eat them don't eat your lipsticks please especially when it's mad because I don't know just don't eat it okay <laughs> so the range of these lipsticks vary from rupees uh, 1000 INR for the mini ones that is uh, something which is the size of my little finger and uh, it also could range to 2000 rupees and this is like the bigger one so this is the mini one and this is the bigger one so without wasting any more time, let's move on with the video. So the first lipstick that I'm going to try is MAC Matte Meher. It's a mini one and this is how it looks. So this is how the shade Mehel looks on my lips and I feel this is a dirty pinkish mauve shade and it's it looks so amazing on Indian skin tone ranging from fair to dusky skin tone and I also feel uh, this is a kind of lipstick that you can use, you can wear every day whether you're going to work or whether you're going to college and I also feel that you can wear it with prominent eye makeup, with heavy eye makeup because this is like a subtle shade and it just looks amazing on my skin and I would definitely recommend it to you because this is one of my favorites. So the next MAC must-have lipstick is MAC Diva. This is how it looks. Seriously, it's called Viva, but I think it should have been called Viva because of how royal it looks. And just look at the color, it's so pretty. It's this uh, vinish, burgundyish. I don't even know if that's how you call it. I mean, you say burgundyish? Okay, never mind. It's a very pretty burgundy wine shade, and I mean, this would go so well with like any ethnic attire and you can pull this off with a golden eye makeup i am serious on this if you wear this with any golden lehenga any golden suit any golden sari you're just gonna draw attention and attention because of your lips because this is just gonna complete your look and um yes this is such a pretty shade so if you use mac and if you don't have this shade, then why do you even use MAC? This is all what MAC is about. Try to just guess which shade this is because this is it. Like. Few 
who couldn't guess it, this shade is Retro Matte Ruby Woo. And I guess anyone who uses MAC owns this shade because everything about this lipstick is just so good. It's, it just screams glamour. And I feel that this is the kind of uh, a shade that a villain could wear. It's so dramatic, it is so sexy and it is, trust me, it is the red you need. If you don't have it, what are you doing? Go buy this shade. Just don't just go right now, watch my full video and then go buy it. But still, this is the red that you need, that everyone needs. And if you're not comfortable in wearing red, don't worry, I have a shade for you too. But if you love wearing red lipsticks and you still can't find the perfect red for you, this is the perfect red. You need this in your life if you don't have it. This is amazing. So the next shade that I'm going to try out is Retro Matte All Fired Up. This is how it looks. Yeah, it's kind of a dark pink. Let me wear it for you guys. So this is again a big must-have and it's a mix of dark pink and fuchsia as you guys can see and this shade is so 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 gorgeous. Uh, I just love everything about it. This is just a dark pink and you can wear it during the day, you can wear it during the night. This looks really good, this looks amazing on Indian skin tone. Ranging from fair to dusky to dark, anyone would wear it and anyone would look really nice. So this is a must have. Just go buy it. Just go buy this shade. This is another a big must have after Ruby Woo. This is a big, big must have. I feel all the retro matte shades are a big must have. And uh, yeah, this is just one of them. So the next shade that you must have in your closet is MAC Lady Danger. This is how it looks. I'm not really good at putting lipsticks. Lady Danger, so intense. I love this shade. This is again a coral color and it is a mix of orange and red. There's less of orange and more of red and I just love this color. It just, it's so intense. Plus, I feel that you could pull off this shade even if you're wearing casual, even if you're going dressy, even if you're going for a wedding. It just, um, something about this color, it, it just would go with anything and everything. So as promised, this is a shade for those of you who are not comfortable in wearing black lead. This shade is again retro matte and it's called Relentlessly Red. And this is like a pinkish red. You can call it a pink carrot, maybe. <laughs> So as you guys can see, this is a very lovely shade. It is for those who are not comfortable in wearing red. And this is also one of the major must-haves you should have, you should own. And this lip shade would come out this way on fair to dusky to medium skin tones. But on dark skin tones, it would just come out as a red shade. So the next lip shade is again a retro matte shade. And it's called Flat Out Fabulous. This is how it looks. And I'm going to try it on for you guys. So this shade is a cool tone and a very dark fuchsia and this uh, lipstick is pretty bright so I would suggest you to wear it with minimal to no makeup sorry no eye makeup and because this just draws attention to your lips 
This is a matte finish again. I wear this shade quite often. I wear this shade quite regularly. It's my personal favorite. So my next favorite matte lipstick is Tropic Tonic, uh, number 628. It is a matte shade and this is how it looks. This is how the shade looks on my skin and I am completely in love with this shade because this shade literally screams summer and if you're fair I would suggest you that this is a must have in your closet because this just makes you look prettier and yes it's just full power coral color and I'm just in love with the fact how um, it's matte but it also gives my lips a shine and it just goes well with anything and everything. I just love this color. So the next must have is Viva Glam Miley Cyrus Amplified. This is a very pretty shade and uh, this is a glossy lipstick. Uh, unlike the others, it's not matte. And I guess this is the only glossy lipstick I really like. It is a very pretty hot pink. Let me show you. This is how it looks. I feel uh, glossy lipsticks are easier to apply. Or is it just me or all of you? Is, is it with all of you? Also, a tip for all the lipstick lovers. If you have oily skin, then you should go forward with matte shades like that is what i would suggest and if you have dry skin then you can um, go with glossier shades as well because they would look as good as matte shades but with oily skin i feel matte lipsticks go well with them i just feel and i think that's true so this is the shade and this is how it looks on my lips. It is a very sexy hot pink. Girls, you should wear it for your sweet 16th. I didn't, but you definitely should. This is very glossy and this is kind of pretty bright. So you would want to tone down the look on your eyes. So just be careful about that. Otherwise, this is such a pretty shade. And I think you should have one of these hot pinks, which is uh, like a staple. Like everyone has a hot pink, I guess. And uh, yeah, that was that. And if you really enjoyed watching my video, if you really found it helpful and useful, then please don't forget to like and please don't forget to share with your friends and share with your family members and share with your colleagues or anyone and basically anyone in the world. Share it with everyone if you enjoyed watching my video. So please like and don't forget to comment also. Do let me know what you would want me to do in my next videos because I always try to deliver what you guys want. I'll be back with more videos. Till then, peace.